and welcome to Zero to Hero part 13 um, last time out we hit level 70 and champion level 12 um, through the quests we got 121,000 gold we're up to so I may as well purchase the recipe that's on offer for gold I'm not crafting anything for now so we'll learn this one um, I've got two hours and 23 minutes before I get a free refresh so we shall do that even though these boots would be very nice to own I am not spending 200 gems on them um, so the focus for now is to try and get through story um, I've just remembered I have been saving in the stash two set item chests for when we hit level 70 so in the perfect world these are going to be a glacius tempestus and an igneous pillar of flame it's not going to work out like that but let's see what we get the guaranteed set item storm cooler regalia i'm going to wear those because we've got movement speed and extra gold on them or am i i'm going to lose critical damage I'm going to keep hold of them in any case so these are going to be class relevant arcanist arm guards <laughs> uh, I'm probably not going to use those let's put those down here ready for um, <coughs> salvage later how much do these cost? We're easily going to hit the 1,000 gems. I want 400. Um, once story's complete, that's four days. Let's get some more stash space since we want to be unlocking those as we go along. And let's expand it a bit. Yeah. So we want to get all of these unlocked eventually. Um, so we're down to 571. But that's not going to be a problem. If we can get story completed, we'll have five daily quests, 100 gems per day. Back up to 1,000 in no time. Um quite a lot to go on this map I tend not to try and fight all these things and try and run through the middle as much as possible here there's really slow spawning zombies that come out of these um, mausoleum things at the sides and they just take forever to finish so we've got through there without spawning them and given that we've hit level 70 and not too worried about experience at this stage let's just rush through to the story sections um, oh they got aggro Let's just do it. We'll grab the chest then while we're up here. Tone that down for events. I need to tone that down for everything, I think. Let's kill them. So that's chemical warfare done. I think the other quest is Slay the Void Infusers. Yeah, I know. So they're hidden away. I'm 
There is a little chest hidden down here, so we'll go grab that. There's a section coming up where there's quite a lot of enemies, but I'm not going to run around and fight them all. Just want to try and get story done to unlock all the dailies. So I could run around this whole area up here. And then of course our wind spirit pulls in other things that we didn't want. So the void infusers are down here. We shall get rid of them. We need to grab this crystal. Run down the end and kill this priest. Uh, I will come back for that. salvage that no problem so we shall turn in that for three gems we can turn in this for gold and experience that's going to give us four champion levels or three um, let's assign our champion levels while we've got them there That's really annoying. Um, we can salvage all the gear. Two quests from Alarion, our crystal mountain. So this is a quest where we can leave the things that we need to pick up all lying on the floor. They'll fly to us at the end and we can still complete the quest. So that one's good. to rerun this map before to finish quest and I think that's possibly because I've killed the end boss from some awkward position that you're not supposed to be able to um, there's a chest up there but let's not bother I can either go down this way and have group spawn, or I can go around that way and have a group spawn. <laughs> There's going to be more than enough talismans laying on the floor. I'll let these additional things spawn on us so 
So three gems there. Purging the void. Load of obnoxious level up things about to come along. Let's assign our champion levels. Um, it's grey. Adventurers. We shall put that in with the stuff that we're going to salvage on mass as a chance for um, Mark of Titans that we're going to need eventually. I'm going to put all 14 of those in at once. Cover of Darkness to me is a silly quest. Oh, we need to approach the watchtower, but if the torches are alight, they can see us. So let's extinguish the torches. They won't wonder what's going on as all the torches are being extinguished in a path leading directly to them. I'm being pedantic. Um, let's just go and get the torches. This is probably the slower way of doing this actually because there's more later on. I just like to get them out of the way early. So that's the torches done. Might as well go and get the chest while we're here. I think the Hellmaster is the end of level parts, so we'll just go there. are just hounds. We'll let the puppies live. See look we've left loads of torches alight and they still didn't see us coming so why did we extinguish the ones at the start? Turn them in. Lots more level up things flashing in our face. And that can go in there. We shall pick up the Thing from there. I think the other quest is actually obtained. Oh, it's great spelling. As we do stuff within the story. Um, let's just salvage that and sell those. Three from the end. We might finish story today. This will be good. Let's do this semi how I would. I normally gather them all up and shatter them down, but that's not for new players because that's not possible. We shall 
talk to all these people up here. I don't think I'll bother with all the chests on this map. Okay, we're getting some performance issues. Once this is done, I need to restart. We'll get this chest. We'll run past a load of these. We have a vortex and a beam to deal with them. There we are. of routes out of this area I can go up here and exit near a chest and then fight my way all the way back down or I can go down here and up and fight my way through to that chest or I can just ignore it altogether it seems I've taken the ignore it altogether route I suspect the group at the end, which is our ultimate target to finish the quest, is going to be quite tanky. So we shall vortex them up and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to quickly restart so we stop getting lag spikes and FPS drops. Okay, so while we were away, I turned in the two quests that we completed on the last map. We shall pick up these quests. I'm going to hopefully finish story today, but we shall see how, um, how quickly we can get through Drake and more catacombs. The final boss is going to be quite tanky, I think. Um, oh, something else that I did whilst offline was craft a new bracer experience haste and ability rate for now. Um, because we've hit level 70, we're allowed to craft level 71 gear. So that's nice. Still laggy. I think the PC might be downloading things. Hence performance feeling a bit jerky. Um, might as well clear out everything on this map. We've got to clear 150 enemies anyway, so let's go and do all the side channels. I like to 
runs are here to get everything else to spawn. I'm not going to do my usual way of clearing out this area, which is to run all over the place and pull in hundreds of mobs. Um, ouch. Just because Marcus and Eileen will just instantly die. Um, let's get these out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't need to worry about spawning those extra skeletons. chests down this end weird how arcane bolts can get over that slope but uh, Nothing else can, <laughs> or arc lightning can't. So we step into here, don't have to worry about gold flying over the edge, it gets down to about there and comes back up through the floor. Uh, Kenthara who's just followed us around and done absolutely nothing now claims victory um, I don't think anything's actually lying on the floor so I'm not going to come back for any of that um, highest level drops that you get in story maps are level 72 um, when we eventually move into trolls we can get up to level 77 although they are extremely rare uh, so Kara our final map a very long one which is going to have some very annoying sections what I'm going to do is pause recording and let whatever updates are downloading do their thing so that we then hopefully have a fairly clean run of the final story map so back soon and before we go rushing in to the final story step um, I have upgraded the st uh, stash spot that I opened earlier, spent some gold filling out this third tab, um, and since quite a few hours have passed by, uh, our free refresh has come up, so let's see what recipe we get. Akmar. Uh, we shall learn that one and await the next free refresh so that is now or the, that recipe is removed from the list of available recipes it will never appear again it's unlocked for us I could go and craft if I had the materials uh, which obviously I don't so let us jump in to the final story map this one might take a while it's huge and we do have to go around the entire map in order to finish it and we're probably going to have to deal with all the very slow spawning enemies What I won't do is clear out all the side channels at the start area. 
there's chests but we'll end up standing around killing groups of skeletons for ages so there's a load of little channels off to these sides all the way up here until finally we go off on a big long adventure across a huge map eventually looping round until we fight the final boss so far there'll be more I'm sure in the future so I'm gonna go off down here and eventually we're gonna come back out through this route and the final boss is down here I could go and face it right now um, from my testing in the past it's uh, like fighting about a level a uh, troll level 150 boss and in this gear we will be dead instantly so let's do the thing that we're supposed to do and go around the map if we kill all the sub bosses around the map then that final boss becomes something very much more easily manageable now we're going to have a load of really slow spawning zombies from there so i'm going to go up here first and fight grumba which should give those slow spawning zombies plenty of time to get their act on and grab that healing orb so how long these bosses will take to kill I don't know because when the story and this world and these maps are introduced I was already in a position where everything was just run in kill everything and move on this is the annoying thing there's about 10 of them that spawn you just have to wait because we can't open any chests later on because as soon as they spawn no matter where we are on the map they put us straight into combat There's these ones up here as well so since we're gonna to have to deal with those we might as well come around here and get this chest actually I can't open that chest can I cuz I as I just said these things still missing out quite a lot on this map even though we are going to be going the full length of the mini bosses that apparently are empowering Kara and one more to go which is quite a way off a lot of running still to do
there's several routes you can take through this town area I just generally try and I'd say it's a town it's not exactly a town it's more of a underground <laughs> graveyard um, I tend to just work my way across slowly rather than clear out the whole thing because it's gonna just take forever and our final oh he went down quick <laughs> they're gonna have slow spawning zombies Technically, I could ignore these and just go run straight to Kara, but they're done. We can open up the chest over here now. And there are plenty of other chests on this map, but I've chosen not to go to them because we don't want a 20 minute run. Um, I could ignore all these as well. Now that I'm halfway through them, might as well just finish it off. So we're back to the almost start. <clears throat> I strongly suspect that I'm going to have to do proper fight with Kara here and not what I'm used to which is running and watch her die in a second or two so let us see she's going down quite quickly beam from the side her summoned minions die really quickly She went down very fast in the end then. We're going to have to go through this portal several times I think. Oh we actually had enough inventory space. In which case let's get the last chest on the map. Which for whatever reason is all on its own up here. We've Just a few groups of normal enemies to fight en route. Bit of extra gold and we'll summon our portal. So that is normal mode maps all complete as far as story goes um, so there are no more story missions given to us from this point on all we will see for this character are these dailies that are going to pop up five a day now since we've got them all unlocked and there we are level 70 20 gems, 10,000 gold, 200,000 experience. I am going to save that one for tomorrow. So we'll get to run six daily quests next time. Um, and I'll have a think about next steps as to what we're going to do. Um, I would ideally like to get a few hundred champion levels behind me. And then do some gold farming so how i'm going to go about that i need to have a think about uh, but in the meantime we have we're certainly not a hero i don't think we're a zero either anymore let's say we're a champion uh, so progress um definitely come a lot quicker than i thought it would so that's good um something else i forgot to mention on the season 
Through completing story and doing the dailies, we've hit the season bank limit, 1,000 gems, 1 million gold. Um, ah, we've completed season level 11 as well. Might get some more glory coming up soon then. That's good. Um, so, next time out, I'll tell you what the next steps are probably have a talk about how I'm going to raise the crafting level. Um, any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to put them down below and thank you very much for watching.